Today we'll be going over series up. Now, in this problem, they'll basically give you a number and they want you to return an array with a specific pattern depending on the number. So for example, why don't we look at when n is two. Now when n is two, they want you to return one and then one, two. So I think the best way to do this is to split up the array into um, n number of groups. So here, for example, since n is 2, we'll split it up into this group and this group. Here, since n is 3, we'll split it up into three groups. Here's the first group, here's the second group, and here's the third group. And the same thing here, when n is 4, we'll split it up into 1, 2, 3, and four. So you'll notice that each of these groups is a different length. Each of these groups is one longer than the previous group. And the first group always starts as one. So the way you'll want to start this is by creating an integer array. We'll call it array. And we'll set it equal to a new integer with a certain length. Now, this length, luckily, they were nice enough to give it to us. It's going to be n times n plus 1 divided by 2. So, it'll be n times n plus 1 divided by 2. Now, from here on out, we'll create an integer j, and we'll set it equal to 0. And you'll soon see the reason for this. Now from here on out, we'll create a for loop. We'll change this to a 1. And then from here on out, we'll create a second for loop. Now, the reason we have these two for loops is because, starting with this outer for loop here, the reason we have this outer for loop is basically to keep track of which subgroup inside the array we're on. So let's take a look at this array here. When i is 1, it means we're at the first subgroup. When i is 2, it means that we're, in the, we're checking the second subgroup, and when i is n, we're checking the nth subgroup. Now the reason we have k is because k is going to be keeping track of the value that we're going to be inputting into the array. So you can see that when k always starts at 1, because all of these groups will all start with a 1, and k is less then i plus 1, because as i increases up to n, the length of the group also increases as well, which means that your, the value you input into the array will also be increasing. Now, from here on out, you want to set your array at j equal to k. And you want to add 1 to j. Now this was the reason we created an integer j here and set it equal to 0. Um, so while i keeps track of the, the group you're on, j will be keeping track of the index within the array, and k will be keeping track of the value you're inputting into the array. And the reason we don't create a separate for loop for j is because there's really no space to do it. Putting a for loop for j here would mean that you're repeating this for loop way too many times. Now once you do this, all you need to do is return your array. And there we go.